about to see might need a little bit of a warning because of YouTube but only because there's guns involved this is just well not me but I was throwing them throwing some shooting clays and shooting them with shotguns and there was a child involved who was there she had full hearing protection and she has been trained in all of the things her whole life I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, nobody got hurt. We all had a lot of fun, but I do want to warn you, just in case somebody doesn't want to watch this. Not shooting anything alive or anything like that, just shooting sporting clays. And we did clean up after. But I didn't record everything, but I just wanted to warn y'all, just in case you don't want to see somebody shoot a gun, that's what's going to happen for the next few minutes of the video. So, just a little warning. To let you know everybody was safe everybody was happy everybody had fun and we got home right before the storm started so now I don't know what else I'm gonna be sharing with y'all 
but I'm about to get in that shower because while we were shooting the sporting clays, it was super hot. And whenever you see me again, I will be wearing different clothes. <laughs> Just want to let you know that. He got a little piece of it. Hey, Yeah. 
shot too. Are you going to shoot any? Okay, it's just low burst. <laughs> I know that nerve, that nerve gonna kill him anyway. You aim in that direction. Hey, 
Because you can hear everything so loud. Your mom may not need to get you that kind of thing. She likes, you better go to Harbor Freight and get her. We'll go by and get her a pair then. Just turn those off. We're going comfortable. We'll go by there sometime and just get her a pair of them. Because those. Where are they from? Yes, those come from Harbor Freight. Got two bullets. Here's the last ones we bought. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Because I'm going to try. Oh, 
Remember when I said throw it toward the top of the light pole? Yeah, throw it toward the light pole again. Try that. Okay. Oh, I There you go. Coming. This turning, I think. No. Nope. What is it doing? Yes, yeah, turning. <laughs> Grasshopper. We ain't doing nothing wrong, so we fine. That was a little low, but that's all right. Oh, no. Let's see if I can get this. The tree got that one. Big deal, though. Oh, it got it. 
She's washing clothes. I didn't know what that was. She's washing trash. Huh? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Chicken shack. I don't know. Chicken shack. Y'all together. I don't know. Kill them both. Chicken shack then got ran over. I don't know. Yeah, somebody ran over it. I was trying to wait until they got together and I was going to shoot them. Then you blew one on the bottom out. <laughs> hey, I was hungry. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. I'm like, how did he do that? You threw two of them at one Man, you don't know what that is. You know what that is? You don't know what that is? Yeah, I'm throwing them down. Oh,
How'd it work out for you? <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance. I thought that was shot. No, that was Jeff. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun trying. So we have all three gotten our showers, and Jeff is emptying the dish drainer. I have water on because we're just doing some cheese ravioli with salad. And do you want the garlic bread? We have some in the freezer already. Okay, and garlic bread. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my medicine and my um, little pods. I need to empty that one and wash it. I just throw them in the dishwasher. It's super easy. You empty them out. You can empty them into your garden, into your compost, into the garbage, whatever, you know, wherever you would normally empty your coffee grounds. And then you just make sure that as much as possible is out. Rinse them if you want to. I don't always because most of the time they're pretty clean. And then throw them in the dishwasher on the top rack or in your silverware tr tray. And they're, you know, wash them easy but anyway i'm gonna get that all set up so that i can do that with y'all and just talk a little bit about our weekend okay so i'm gonna start my coffee while he's still doing that i still have a couple of pods in here but it's the same coffee so i'm not gonna worry about it if it was new coffee in the big container i would um i would take these out and put them on top to be used first but it's not new coffee so it's not a big deal so, um, the weekend for, well, Saturday, the only thing that I recorded was me cooking our breakfast, which, um, you saw, I didn't even record it like I normally do. You just heard music with it. And then, uh, we went back to the rodeo. Jeff and I did. Noah stayed at home. So Jeff and I just went back to the rodeo for the next night. And then today, we just went and did what you saw. Um, they shot some sporting clays, skeets, whatever you want to call them. What all do you call them, Jeffrey? Skeets? Oh, sporting clays? Okay. Something other. Okay. We really had not done anything else this weekend, have we? 
No, we haven't done anything else. And most weekends, we don't do a lot of chores unless we have to do the yard or something. We did need to do that, but it's rained. Like, we were going to do it Friday morning, wasn't it? I'm bumping the table. Was it Friday morning because he was off work on Friday? Or was it yesterday morning? We were going to do it in the morning and it rained, so you can't cut grass whenever it's raining. So we didn't do that, but it's fine. It's not too high, so we'll get it soon. And really, that's the only chores we really do other than cooking and dishes. Um, there's no other things that we normally do on weekends. Unless we're doing like a woodworking project or something like that. So that and then on Sundays, we fill up all of our things that need to be filled up for the week. Uh, this week, I have my coffee pods I'm doing. I have my medicine and vitamins every week. And we have flour. Like I think there's all-purpose and self-rising that need to be filled up. And sugar. Does sugar need to be filled up over there? Okay, he said the sugar's okay. Um, sometimes they feel that. I don't use a lot of sugar unless I'm baking. I don't even remember the last time I touched the sugar container. Because I don't normally make the tea anymore. Because usually Noah does it. I will. I don't have a problem with doing it. But usually he does it. So that's who makes our tea most of the time. Um, so that needs to be filled up. I don't think any of our spices need to be filled. Do you see any salt or pepper or anything over there that needs to be filled up? I don't think they do. Nope. Hadn't been long since I did it. What is... Oh, that's something I made that we need to just use. That, um... That's, like, one of those things... I can't remember what that seasoning was, but somebody told me on one of my videos what they thought I did with it. But it was something I had made for a recipe and I had too much for it. Um, so it's not something I use all the time. It's just a sometimes thing. And I just did all these things over here, which I don't usually have to fill those up. And y'all, I got my first... Um, comment from the food police which I, I expected one of those comments a long time ago telling me how that I was uh, using things that was poisoning my family and stuff because I use um, certain things and what's really crazy is though the one thing that they pointed out that I use first of all I have a misto and I can use it don't know why I started buying the Pam spray and stuff. I don't know why I started doing that again because I had stopped. But the one thing that I, they were like talking about and saying that all of my food was like, this is not the exact words, but pretty much telling me that I was poisoning my family and the food was garbage. They didn't even see anything except my chicken bacon ranch. And I responded to the comment and I'm not going to be rude to somebody, but I did tell them that there was a better way to actually tell someone they were doing something wrong which that one thing that they pointed out is something that I had just recently told you guys that I was going to stop buying after it was all gone but I wasn't going to waste it and I thought hmm okay they don't watch my channel or they would know that I said that but that's okay I don't mind those there's a lot of different uh, people that like different YouTube friends that I have they've had some really nasty ones and I don't mind, you know, criticism if it's something that's going to be helpful or if it's con like constructive criticism. I don't mind that and I don't mind you telling me that something is bad for me or whatever, but normally that never happens and we evaluate everything we do in our home. We pay attention to what we're eating and drinking, and we make our own choices because we're all adults. But that was funny to me that the after... Jeff says he's not an adult. I don't know who evaluates his stuff. He eats worse stuff than I do. But, 
But anyway, after, I mean, it's been almost seven years, and that's the first time. It was very surprising, which I don't, I don't, you know, mind. It didn't bother me. It didn't hurt my feelings or anything. And people are entitled to their own opinions, but there are nicer ways to go about some things. It wasn't, like, completely rude, but it wasn't something that needed to be said in front of the world, pretty much. It could have been said a different way, but I'm thinking about deleting that comment anyway, so you guys may never see it. So, um, and I know there's a lot of people that I follow that will pretty much just blast everything. Like, they will put the comment out for everyone to see. And I thought about doing that, but I'm not going to because it just doesn't matter. That just goes on the counter. But I know that there are things in my house that are not the best for you. But I'm pretty sure that most of us make bad choices and we're fully aware of it. And some of us are trying to make better choices. And um, those are still wet. I'm not going to put them in. I'm not going to use those. But most of us are trying to do better. And But we're not going to throw away what we have because that's just wasteful. I'm just not going to do it. I mean, some people say coffee's bad, but my doctor told me to drink it, so... Everybody has their own opinions about what's good and what's bad. But they said that butane... No, everybody's not the same. But um, they said that butane is in the um, Pam, the cooking spray. Actually, it's isobutane. It's not the same thing. It is flammable, but it's not the same thing. And no, it's not good for you. Yes, it is a propellant, and that's exactly why I had already decided to not use it anymore. That, and I do have a misto, and I will have one less thing in my kitchen because I don't have to deal with that extra can. So... Anyway, there's my little rant for today. You guys can tell me what you think about it. But I won't, you won't be seeing that comment. By the time that you see this, it'll be gone. Um, <laughs> because I'm going to get rid of it. I did reply to it. But what you wooing about? You think I should leave it up? Someone, okay, I'll show you the comment or I'll tell you the comment later. And you can tell me if you think I should leave it up or not. But anyway, let me get my vitamins. I'm going to show them the comment before I get my vitamins, and I'll tell y'all what we're going to do. Okay, so I read the comment to Jeff, and he asked me why would I want to keep it, and why would I want to delete it, and all that stuff. I just decided to delete it, because I just don't see any reason for me to keep it on there. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but some people... Like, he asked me what the food police was. <laughs> it's people who think that they know better than everyone else. And they could go about telling people about things in a lot better way than being rude and telling them they're killing their families or harming their families. They didn't, he didn't say, he or she didn't say I was killing them, but that I was harming. And don't pass on bad habits, you know. I'm pretty sure they're perfect and everything is wonderful in their home and they've never eaten anything that was, you know, not good for them. They don't go anywhere. They don't breathe air. I don't know. It did get on my nerves, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to be out of these after next week, but I think that my new, um, What do you call that? My new subscribe and save for my vitamins comes next week. I believe it's the 16th that it comes, so, so it won't be here in time. But that's all right. I was kind of thinking about not taking the iron anymore and getting my iron tested again to see if the foods I'm eating are helping with my iron. But... I haven't decided to yet because my arm's been good since I started taking that. But anyway. I've gotten some funny comments along the way, but not from food police as I did not come up with that name either. Somebody else did. 
somebody else came up with that. But y'all who have been watching me know that I am making better choices for myself and for my family. So that's something else. I don't understand people who watch a one video and then never watch any more and they think they have a right to have an opinion about your whole life. That's weird. I mean, just a few years ago, I was a lot worse. <laughs> but I've been trying to get better for a long time. Learning all the time. I guess Jeffrey is doing all the dishes. I didn't know he was doing that. But I'm not going to complain. Are you doing all the dishes? Nope. Nope, he's not doing all of them. What are you not doing? Because it looks like you're doing all the dishes. He didn't answer. What are you not doing? He doesn't know yet. He's going to leave one thing for me to do, I guess. Alright, so let's get off our soapbox, or let me get off my soapbox, and go on back to um, my filling all the things. So I've got my vitamins and my medicine filled, except this is my thyroid medication. And now it's all filled up. And the other stuff he'll fill up because it's big five gallon things that he'll have to take out of the um, pantry to fill up the flour and stuff. anything else I need to do. Do you know of anything else? There's no, oh yes I do. I need to do the laundry cleaner, the um, little pods things. So I need to get those and I think that's it. But let me go grab those. Alright, so I don't always use the pods, but when I do, to make it not a huge thing like this, I put them in a little container that I have so that I can um, just not have that huge thing up there. It's easier than this tall thing. So this usually lasts me a couple weeks, two, three weeks. I don't know. I haven't really checked to see how long it lasts. I just put some in. Really, it's according to how much laundry I have, too, with things, how long it takes. And this is not Snuggle. This is actually Odaban, which is a disinfectant and a laundry and air refresh, uh, freshener. It um, kills germs and stuff. But we got a bunch of it during COVID time. Well, I had been using it for years. We learned about it whenever we were in the fire department because people, uh, if their house got smoky, we would tell them to use it to help with their furniture to get the smells out. And a lot of thrift stores and stuff will use this stuff too. But this is a concentrated big gallon of it. But I use this little snuggle container because it's smaller and it fits and I can fill this up a couple times and this is also for putting in your laundry like you would a um, here let me get down here so I can tell y'all a little bit about it for whenever you're like a fabric softener I don't know if it softens or not but it has different ways you can use it but for a deodorizer for air freshener it tells you how much water to add. You can use it for air freshener, pet odors, sewage backup, and water damage. Okay. Carpets and as a cleaning solution for large areas. Sanitizer, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs in 60 seconds on pre cleaned hard, non porous, food, non food contact surfaces. So you wouldn't put it on food contact stuff, which I'm going to clean this, our table. Um, 
You use it, let's see, disinfect it for killed germs in 10 minutes. Hard, non-porous, pre-cleaned surfaces, fungus, uh, fungus, fungicidal, I can't say a word, um, and mildew, it kills mold and mildew. And it's a bactericidal, bactericidal against germs such as staph, strep, E. coli, pseudomonas, aruginosa, I don't know what that is, salmonella, listeria, vancomycin resistant, enterococcus faecalis, I don't know what that is, VREF, methicillin resistant staphylococcus, staphylococcus, y'all know what I'm saying, staphylococcus, that's how you say it, Arios, Arius, MRSA, I should have just said that, and it's a virucidal, it kills HIV, AIDS virus in 60 seconds on hard, non-porous, pre-clean surfaces. So, we use it for killing like bacteria in your clothes and also just the odor because it's good for all kinds of stuff. It's for laundry. You add eight ounces per load during the final rinse cycle to eliminate offensive odors. I don't use that much because I don't feel like we need that much. We're mainly using it for like not for killing germs but mainly for killing odors. So I don't use quite that much. But you can put it in RV holding tanks, all kind of stuff. And I'm not trying to sell you this stuff. I'm not sponsored at all. It's just something we've been using for how many years? Uh, 15 or more? A lot of years. We started getting it in a little spray thing at Walmart and then at um, Sam's they have these. That's all gone. Alright, so I'm going to put all this away. And I'm ready for more laundry, which I'm supposed to do tomorrow, but I may start tonight because I think I'm going to have an extra load because we took the blankets out of the truck that we always keep in there, and um, I'm going to wash those and get them back in there. So I may go ahead and do those tonight, but I don't know yet. Okay, so I forgot to do the toast because we were doing other things and talking about other things, but there's the raviolis. And we're okay without the toast. And then Parmesan cheese for that if we want it. Then there's Jeff's salad. No, I didn't want a salad. If he wants one, he can have one later. And there's my salad. Oh, croutons. They're over there. All right. So that's our dinner for tonight. Okay, guys. That is all I have for this weekend vlog. Sorry about the rant if it bothered you. I find those kinds of things funny because, you know, Whenever you are pointing out someone else's flaws, you're usually, you know, full of them yourself, or you have some yourself, you know, so you just can't do that. But anyway, that's all right. Um, I'm not worried about it. Not a big deal. But I'm going to go for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I know that the weekend vlogs are a little bit different. I don't do a lot of cooking or any things like that. It's just what we do on the weekend. And, I mean, sometimes there may be cooking, sometimes there may not. You never know. Um, like, detail or in whatever. Whatever. But it's not normal, but then what is normal? I don't have a normal. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and get my hair down. It has dried enough in this that I can put some product in there to hydrate it and let it finish air drying before bed tonight. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to, go ahead and share with someone else. Not someone who's going to get offended. <laughs> and um, also, if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you be notified whenever I upload. But most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.